Welcome to another VBA tutorial. Today we're going to take what we learned in the last tutorial and expand upon it so it's more, even more practical and useful for you. What I have here on the Excel page is from B2 through B11, I have some random numbers that were generated uh, just for this uh, tutorial. I don't want five decimal places, I want that to be a specific um, number of decimal places. I also want to put my name and the date here and I want it to always be today's date. So let's, let's go to our VBA editor, which I have over here, uh, Alt F11 for PC users. Right click on your book and insert module. We're going to do option explicit so that we are forced to declare all of our variables. And we're going to create a, a sub called template builder. So what are we going to do? We want to put our name in cell A1. We understand how range works now from the last tutorial. Range A1 dot value equals your name. So if you hit F5 now, it should put your name in there. As you can see, A1 has my name. Now let's do A2 dot value equals, today's date is the 16th, but we want to use something more dynamic so that tomorrow I don't have to change this. So in Excel, you can put formulas in any cell. Well, the same thing here. If I put a formula in this value, it'll still work. So let's use Excel's own function called today. So equals today, end quote. Hit F5 on that, and you have today's date in A2. Now there's a little bit of problem with what we want to do next. We know that we can do range B2 colon B11, and that'll highlight and select all of these numbers. But I don't know how to change the number format yet, and I'm not sure what if I had another number like tomorrow and it goes to 13. So that has to be dynamic. I'm at a stopping point now. Let's go back to Excel and explore. If I click on B2, I know from my Excel experience, if I, if I hold Control and Shift and I hit the down arrow, it'll highlight them all, no matter how many I have. If I add one more random number down here, and I do the same thing, B2, Control, Shift, down, I don't know how to do all that, but luckily we can record that and make it happen. So let's go ahead and click the record button. We'll call it select all, all numbers. Make sure it's stored in your this workbook and hit OK. So now I'm recording. I know I want to select B2 because my, my format always comes with the data starting on B2. I get this file every day from a different department and every day there's anywhere from 10 to 50 numbers. I don't know. But hold control, hold shift, and hit the down arrow once. I just recorded that. Now let go. Instead of being done now, let's go ahead and change the number format to what we want so that that also gets recorded. So hit this little um, right arrow for the decrease decimal once, twice, three times. Now we're done. Let's hit the stop button and examine this code. And we're going to we're going to examine it and we're going to put it right here. It stored it in module two, so let's take a look at it. Not much here, we got a bunch of comments. I'm gonna delete those so we can see this for clarity. Range B2.select, we know how to do that. Now the second one here, range, selection, selection dot end. That's when I hit control shift down. I didn't know this, I didn't memorize that, but now we have it. Now look at the next thing, selection dot number formats. See how it changed it from, uh, it changed it to four decimals, then three, then two. We can skip the four and three, because we actually clicked it multiple times. Let's go straight to two. So delete these. Now this is the code we want. So highlight this code and let's copy it. Go back to module one and you can paste it there. Um, pretty it up a little bit. So now we have our macro. Let's, let's go ahead and make some changes to the Excel and give it a try. We've got more numbers. Let's change these uh, decimal places back. Let's mess them up a little bit so that we can see if the macro really runs. Um, delete this, delete my name, and let's give this one final go. Hit F5, and boom, everything is just the way I wanted it. You can add all the features you want. Just remember, go back and forth between what you know and what you can record and get out of that. Don't forget to add some comments to tell you what you're doing. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I would like to see what kind of stuff you've expanded with this um, so if you come up with something creative, a really cool template, uh, comment below or send a link to me and I'll take a look at it. See you at the next tutorial.